Not since my own suicide had violence intruded upon the serenity of life on Wisteria Lane in such a conspicuous fashion. Needless to say, my friends attacked the problem head on. Lynette brought the broom, Susan brought the trash bags, and Bree brought the industrial strength solvent. Woo! That stuff is strong. It has to be. I don't want Gabrielle and Carlos coming home to this ugly reminder in front of their house. So has anyone been over there? Julie and I went over this morning. How's Juanita doing? She's been in a coma ever since she came out of ER. Nobody knows when or even if she'll wake up. This is awful. Carlos must be just devastated. I hope she wakes up soon. Maybe she can tell us who was driving that car. We can only hope. Slow down, you jerk! This is a residential neighborhood! Wow, that's quite a pitching arm you've got there. It pisses me off. I've got four kids, you know. I was up all night reading statistics online. One out of every four traffic accidents happens on residential streets. I hope whoever hit Juanita gets put away for life. Do you think that's a little bit extreme? An innocent woman gets hit by a car and the driver just takes off? I don't think it's extreme. You should go home and get some rest, eat something. You have a ton of messages from work. Tanaka called, said it was urgent. Carlos, I can stay here with your mother. I need to be here if she wakes up. You can't go on like this. You have to take care of yourself. What if she dies? People slip into comas all the time and never come out. Don't say that. We need to stay positive. Mr. and Mrs. Solis? John! Is it okay if I come in? Of course. Mr. Solis, um, I'm so sorry this happened. It means a lot that you came. Look, I think I'm gonna go down to the chapel and pray. You wanna come? Um, no. I think I will stay here with Mama. Is it all right if I come? Of course. We need all the prayers we can get. <sighs> Mrs. Solis, it's time for a sponge bath. Come again? Sometimes family members prefer to administer sponge baths themselves. I think I'll pass. Martha, where's your purse? Over there. Why? What are you doing? I am taking back the $40 that you stole out of my purse. Edie! We both know you did it. Now hand it over. I have taken nothing from your purse. And if you're missing money, I'd ask one of those strange men you parade through here at all hours. I am not going to apologize for having a healthy sex life. Healthy? I'm going to have to burn every sheet you've touched. I want my money. And I want those non-fat peach yogurts. They didn't just walk out of that fridge by themselves. Well, you can deduct it from the $40 that you're going to give me now. You're my best friend. Why would I steal from you? It's no secret that you've been having financial problems. I hear you bitching on the phone to your bank. That's it. I can put up with your debauchery and your food theft, but I will not tolerate spying. I want you out. You don't mean that. Oh, yes, I do. I'm leaving tomorrow to visit my sister for a few days. I want you gone by the time I get back. I'll do you one better. I will leave today. 